16 days of activism against gender-based violence ends today. Statistics indicate women still bear the brand of gender-based violence, but stakeholders reckon education can help to reverse the trend. Work Her Dream organization has been targeting girls from poor families and those in urban slum settlements to support their high school education. For the last eight years, we envisioned a future where every girl, regardless of her background, has access to education because we believe through education we are empowering the communities, we are empowering and transforming families. Despite the efforts to curb gender-based violence, Lily Okeo, the founder of the organization, says lack of access to education and poverty may expose young girls to abuse. Through education, we not only equip these girls with knowledge about the tools and their rights against gender-based violence, but also we, sub we foster supportive opportunities and mentorship where they have others other women who have gone ahead of them to hold their hands. Eminence um, empowers the woman through facilitating for the healing, facilitating for the empowerment and the training for life for every woman. And we are so grateful to partner with um, Work Her Dream organization because as they empower the young girl in her formal education, in mental health, then we are here to coach them through life. They are so far supporting over 300 girls across the five counties in the North Rift region. They apply to Work Her Dream. Both, uh, they can reach out to us through the website or through our social media platforms. I joined Work Her Dream in the year 2018. I was in Standard 7 by then. Uh, they were here to enable me to join my high school and paid my school fees because I was brought up in a family which was not financially stable. With Form 1 admission set for early next year, 100% transition policy by the national government may remain a dream especially for bright children who may not have school fees. But organizations like Worker Dream is here to give them a lifeline to education. Timothy Simwake, 24 News Cut.